so we had we had this Monty Python simulation, and where we had avatars we could move around to simulate the bridge scene, that which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's a classic, and um, so we what we had was a visual environment in which it's a virtual environment, if you will, a 2D virtual environment in which objects, avatars can move. And to make things interesting, we also had uh, an interpreter. Okay? And uh, an interpreter is something that interprets as the program executes commands we put. Okay? And we were running a canned program. Okay? So um, I'm just going to go very quickly. So we had, you know, we had these guys, they're going to get the Holy Grail. Uh, King Arthur and his knights, so they're going to do some drills before they, or they're going to go towards the bridge. So they're going to march in, uh, we saw that they could march individually, we didn't like that. We saw they could march out of sync, we didn't like that. So we decided, let's go and see how we can mar make them march in sync. Okay? So that's what the command here says, the sync march forward. So to synchronize them, uh, we have, you know, we don't have a marching band here, but we've got this guard. And we'll make this guard not only be the guard of the bridge, but we'll also make him synchronize the knights. Okay? So he's going to do clapping, which is synchronization, a synchronized clap. And basically, every time he claps, these guys take one step forward. Okay? And uh, one of you mentioned that they, you knew about threads. So yes, there are threads involved here. And uh, there is some more complicated stuff going on here to make the threads uh, coordinate. Okay? So very briefly, a thread, you know, when your program runs, your program can run sequentially the statements, which is what you're used to from your previous courses, or you can execute the program in parallel, whatever that means. And we'll see what that means. So basically when they were marching, I showed you earlier that they were marching individually, that means each one of them was a thread that could just do autonomously go and execute. And then when, you, when we had some synchronization, okay? So that's, 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 uh, that's one of the things you'll learn here. And uh, to make things even more interesting, we said, you know, let's not, what the sync clap command does is basically run some predefined Java code. Java code that's been compiled, it just executes that code. Okay? What we were going to do now is be more ambitious and as a user, type some statements, ty type some text that will essentially make the guard clap. Okay? And, and so we will, we will not use Java, we will use our own language. This is a language that you, in this class, will be able to interpret yourself. So essentially, you're you know, almost writing a compiler, not quite a compiler, as an interpreter, but the same principles apply. It's a very small language, and, and we get to see the language here. So again, we're going to make them sync, uh, go and wait for the claps, and the claps will now occur because we put some commands into this interpreter. Okay? So uh, you want to do things modularly. So here I'm saying, OK, one part of clapping is to, for the guard to go and put his arms together. Okay? What does that mean? That means you have to rotate one arm, and you've got to rotate the other arm in the other direction. And that means you, your arms are in. Okay? And if you've got an arms in, uh, and so this is defined. We are saying we are going to define a method, procedure, whatever you might want to call it, a macro, if you will. Actually, it's really a macro. We're going to define a macro, a name for a bunch of instructions. Okay? And then we're going to do guard arms out. We have got to go the other direction also. And, uh, and so the left arm goes in the opposite direction, and the right arm goes in the opposite direction also. Okay? So we've got left arm, we've got right arm, uh, we've got uh, arms in, arms out. And for a clap, what else do we need? So the clap, we put the arms in. And then what, what do we do? We wait. Okay? We have to somehow wait. And, and uh, do you guys remember how we waited last time? Sleep. Sorry? Sleep. Sleep. Okay? So you basically set an alarm. Okay? And when the alarm um, uh, 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 comes on, you essentially do the next step. Okay, so you got to put your arms in, you got to sleep, and then what? Arms out. But before we do the arms out, there are people waiting. You got to tell them, hey, Go next. Okay? So, and so that's, we have something called proceed all. Anybody waiting on me, proceed. Okay? So that's what we do here. We define a beat. Actually, I'm calling it not clap, but beat. So you call, we call, we defined arms in before. Now we're going to call that. Okay? We've got our own little language that will make things easy here. 
precede all. We're going to tell everybody waiting, you know, go ahead and do your thing. And that's what these, these guys themselves, after each, march, each step, go and wait or sleep. Uh, they actually do a wait, which we, we haven't seen. They don't do a sleep, they do a wait, waiting for the proceed. Okay? Then you sleep, and we're going to sleep for 500. Uh, what do you think this 500 is? What unit? Half a second. Okay? Half milliseconds. And then we're going to take arms out, proceed all, sleep. Uh, sleep. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's, this is not quite symmetric here. Uh, but we, we can do anything we feel like. So that's what's happening here. Okay? And um, so that's one beat. And what do we want to do after that? After you had one beat, we want to repeat. Okay? We want to repeat as many times as these guys are waiting or more. Okay? So we define beats as repeat five times the call to beat. Okay, so it's like I said, a very simple language, but this is a language you'll actually interpret. Okay, and now we're going to, after this, after we've done all of this stuff, what do we want to do? Sorry? Call, uh, call beats. And we, if we call beats, um, things will get very serial. So we want to actually thread the beats. Okay, which means we want another thread uh, that is going to do this. Okay. So it's not quite call beats, but thread beats, and that's what's happening here. Okay? So we've got our marching. They've reached the, 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 the bridge now. And now the fun part begins, right? So you guys remember from the movie what happens uh, when they reach the bridge? Yeah, they, uh, they ask you three questions. Okay, so who's the first guy who goes? Do anybody remember that? What? How do you guys have such great memory? Uh, I had to look this up, you know. I, mean, I, I went and Googled. And I got the whole script. Uh, I kind of remembered. So, and uh, can you guys see? Okay, so, okay, so look at the command here, say. We are saying say some text. And the program knows whose turn it is next. So I'm not saying say God, say Lancelot. I'm just saying the next person. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so after approach. It is in a certain mode. It knows not that you approached. The first guy is going to be the guard. The next is going to be the approached knight, and so forth. And there's a little check here also to make sure there are three questions. Okay. So, uh, to seek the Holy Grail. What's your favorite color? Anybody remember the answer? Okay. And uh, so, uh, you know, the, the program is not smart enough to know, you know, what the guard is thinking, right? So you've got a special command saying you passed, okay? So he passed, and he just can cross the bridge, okay? And now we can have Robin approach, and we can go through this whole motion again. Uh, and you guys remember the, the question that got him? Okay. So what should happen now? So he should fail now, right? <laughs> okay. And what is the answer? Yeah, he can't make up his mind, right? So there he goes to. I just pick a random point in the valley, because that's where they're going. Uh, because the heads are rectangular, that's why the head is severed right now. Otherwise, if it was squared, it would have been fine. Uh, Okay, so name, quest, and what's the question he asked him? I never knew the unladen word. Huh? I remember it from the movie, just swallow. Okay, and what's the guard's answer? Okay, so he's gone somewhere. And you know, you may not like these guys going there, but we are in a computer program, so what can we do? This, you know, this is a command that these guys would have really been served well by in the movie. Okay. And we can undo, undo, and so forth. Okay, so that's your project. Simple? Huh? Possibly? You don't know. That's a very good answer. Um, let's see.